I don't know if they still do this. It's actually kind of amazing now that there's more mobs in here. I should have done this with my demo deck. Uh, so many people focus mainly on the AP and DP here. Uh, a lot of the times you just kind of get it because people say it's the right upgrade. Uh, but in this video, I'll kind of cover why it's really good to think about what items you're getting and how it can affect your grind. Uh, the first and foremost, um, people tell you to get DR when you come out of season. So this is my full DR set. Uh, I got my usual consumables here. And I'm at a place called uh, Elvia Focus. Uh, I just know that I'll be pretty tanky here with all the DR stuff. And you can see that monster is kind of missing already. And I'm about to die, so I'm going to pull it off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and swap some items. So this is a uh, evasion glove. Your Tuvala shoes are actually by default evasion. And this is just a cheap um, item uh, that was kind of a relic of the past. The Heave Helmet, if you look at the stats, it's got a lot more evasion than Tuvala Helmet. That on. Uh, when you do that, you lose a little bit of other stats, but that's fine. And then with the artifacts, I'm gonna swap to a melee evasion with evasion set on, changing my evasion to about 1024 for melee. Okay, I noticed that I am still taking quite a bit of damage, but I am taking damage in chunks every now and then. So I'd be like, hey is kind of working. What can I do to make this better? So I picked myself up a spirit stone, which gives you vision. Cost all that much. I've also picked up myself. I have a it's kind of crystal right now. I'm gonna add some crystals here. Eleven hundred. Okay, we're gonna go back. Wait, I am noticeably tankier. So what can I do with this information? Well, uh, if you look at some of these items here, uh, like Savage Wrath, uh, you can see that there's a stat called Recover One Per Hit. It doesn't say what. It just says Recover One. It's uh, recovering health every hit. Uh, you can add that onto your add-ons as well. Okay, so now on this skill, and on this skill I have sustain. After a little while, I guess with cold blade I'll be dying. But I actually am able to clear this pack. Here, this time we're gonna go in with Will of the Wind. And we're pretty good to see do the same thing. Here, hold down a bunch of buttons and be able to ride. Just out of season with a couple crystals. I can get 11 or 1070 evasion, and I actually pretty much don't take any damage from mobs. Black Desert is a game with a lot of hidden stats or stats that don't just sit on your face. So if you wanted to grind and your goal wasn't to do the fastest grind ever, if your goal was to just completely grind and you want to go at your pace, um, a lot of the advices that you get from you know the top end gamers, they don't apply. Here is final application of how this kind of thing works. Okay, so this is something that has been uh, an issue in Black Desert for a little while. So if you look at my gear, this is actually something that you probably wouldn't think to wear to grind. Your last star, muskin shoes, uh, center belt. Like this, to most people, doesn't make sense to grind. But here on Star's End, it makes total sense. Okay. So that's 
something that you could also think about. Now, it doesn't just apply to, you know, mid-game to, like, just out-of-season spots either. You can actually really pull this to the extreme and go to places like Ash Forest. Now, I don't think many people, when I say Ash Forest, uh, will think that this is uh, a comfy grind. Uh, same thing. Proceed. Night time, so it's a little bit scary, but let's see what happens. It's not like we break crystals when we die anyway. Uh, now, I'm gonna tell you right now that once that green monster starts slowing me, uh, this is gonna get a little bit more dangerous. And I know this because apparently I've done this before. Uh, so, with that, let's wrap up this video. Um, basically, the whole point of this video was to kind of go through hidden stats in Black Desert and show you that they actually work, and sometimes non-conventional gear upgrades actually help you a lot more than the conventional AP and DP upgrades that just reflect on sheep.